Hello, and welcome to My Operator Guide for Ella. This is one of a series of short videos that will help you get the most out of each operator in Rainbow Six Siege. Ella is a one-armor, three-speed defending operator from the Polish Grom CTU. She is the younger sister of Zofia, the Polish attacker, and like her sibling, she specializes in concussing the enemy. She is also an exceptional roamer and was considered grossly overpowered when she was introduced in Operation Blood Orchid alongside Ying, Lesion, and the theme park map. Thanks to some tweaks to her weapons and gadget, I believe that Ella retains her strengths but is far more balanced as of Operation Shifting Tides. Ella's unique gadget is the Gajmot Mine. Ella carries three of these devices, which can be thrown and will stick to any surface they come into contact with. Once in place, there is a very short delay before they are primed and ready to be activated. Like Sophia's concussion grenades, they have a proximity fuse with a trigger radius of 4 meters, and can only be detonated by an attacker. Once triggered by the presence of an attacker, the mines will apply a concussion effect to anyone caught in the blast radius of 6 meters. This effect is identical to Zofia's concussion grenades, which is also very similar to the effect of echo drones. Vision is blurred and distorted, sound is muted, and movement and aiming speed is significantly reduced. This effect lasts for a few seconds, and then wears off. Remember, if a Gujmot mine is triggered, the concussion effect will be applied to both attackers and defenders caught in the blast radius, including Ella herself. However, just like Sophia, Ella is resistant to the effects of her own gadget, and will recover from the concussion effect twice as quickly as any other operator. Once detonated, the Gujmot mine will also emit a loud bang, which is useful as an indicator of where attackers are pushing from. This information can be used by defenders to prepare for a push, or to catch the attackers off guard while they are stunned. Ella can retrieve primed Gujmot mines at any time during the round, if she is able to reach them. This allows her to redeploy them elsewhere if desired. While Ella only has access to three Gujmot mines during open play, she does have a fourth one that can only be triggered while she is in the down but not out state. If Ella is injured by an attacker, she is able to detonate a Gujmot mine as a last resort, in an attempt to slow down the attacker that is about to kill her, while making it easier for her teammates to get the refrag. This bizarre unique ability is one that I have never used nor have I ever seen used effectively, but it is worth knowing about if you ever try and push an injured Ella. On the screen now is how I personally run Ella. I use the Scorpion Evo as her primary weapon in almost all cases. It has relatively low damage, but this is more than made up for by its outrageous rate of fire and its 40 round magazine. The Scorpion is also very accurate when fired in bursts, but will quickly become uncontrollable if fired continuously. I equip it with a flash hider, a vertical grip, and a reflex sight. Ella's alternative primary weapon is the FO-12 shotgun. This semi-auto shotgun is actually a fairly strong alternative to the Scorpion Evo, and can be used to create rotation holes, open hatches, and facilitate a strong roaming presence when used well. It has a fairly high rate of fire, and can deal massive damage very quickly at close range. However, given its very limited range and massive recoil, it isn't the best weapon for winning medium-range gunfights, so be sure to alter your roaming style accordingly. Like her sister, Ella only has access to one sidearm, the RG-15 pistol. This sidearm does decent but not exceptional damage. However, this pistol does have a 15 round magazine and comes equipped with an integrated red dot sight that cannot be removed. As with all pistols, make sure to equip it with a muzzle brake, as there is simply no reason not to. For secondary gadgets, Ella has access to either barbed wire or a deployable shield. I would always take barbed wire, as it is far more versatile and can be used to slow attackers more effectively. Ella used to have impact grenades, but this made her far too strong as a roamer, allowing her to create rotation routes with ease. Ella's high speed, small hitbox, powerful weapons, and passive gadget make her a perfect roamer. However, before she starts roaming, she must deploy her gadgets effectively around the objective. Naturally, it's best to deploy Ella's Gujmot mines in places where the attackers won't be able to see or destroy them until it's too late. Placing them above windows and doorways leading to the objective is a solid strategy and can act as an alert for your fellow defenders if triggered. Of course, these locations are easy prey for Twitch's shock drone, as they are predictable spots for a Gujmot mine. As you play more as Ella on different maps, try to find small spaces tucked away near a door or window that will still concuss an attacker when they enter, but will also be much harder to spot on a drone. Aside from gadget placement, Ella's most important strategic factor is how you choose to roam. 
Her speed enables her to roam far from the objective to pick off stray attackers, but she can equally roam a little closer to get the drop on attackers that trigger her Gajmot mines. Depending on the map and your choice of loadout, she can be effective either way. Finally, Ella can be played very aggressively as a roamer. This involves keeping at least one of her Gajmot mines on her while roaming, which gives her the option to use it aggressively when engaging attackers. Given the short activation time and generous trigger radius, Ella can throw a Gajmot mine next to where an attacker is likely to emerge and then bait them into triggering it for an easy kill. This is a valid strategy, but is only worthwhile if your aim and map knowledge are exceptional. Otherwise, it is very easy to get killed with one of your gadgets still unused, which would put your team at a disadvantage. Ella works best alongside some of her fellow trap operators. When under the effect of a Gajmot mine, attackers will have a hard time avoiding one of Legion's goo mines. This will also make it more difficult for them to find cover and remove the poison needle as the concussion effect will disorientate them. Frost can also benefit from the effect of a Gajmot mine. When vaulting over a window or a deployable shield, experienced players will often shoot at their feet to destroy a welcome mat. However, with a Gajmot mine above the window or doorway, this will concuss the attacker and slow their aiming speed down, preventing them from being able to destroy the welcome mat, ensnaring them in the trap. Ella can be countered most directly by Thatcher, whose EMP grenades will instantly destroy any Gajmot mines caught in the blast radius. Twitch's shock drone can also destroy any mines within range of its taser. IQ will be able to see the mines using her electronic scanner, allowing her to relay their location to her team. As mentioned earlier, Zofia is, along with Ella herself, the only other operator who can recover twice as quickly from the Gajmot mine's concussion effect. Since Sophia has a similar gadget, the two sisters are resistant to each other's gadgets, creating this small but unique interaction between an attacker and a defender. Despite changes made to her equipment over time, Ella remains a solid defending operator and is still one of the strongest roamers in the game. Her weapon choices are strong, and her gadget is versatile and suited to defending any objective on any map. That concludes my Ella Operator Guide. I hope you enjoyed this video, and that you have picked up some tips on how to use her more effectively. If you'd like to see more Operator Guides and Siege content, consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.